So are you new to Thunkable and find yourself asking, how do I add and edit different pieces of my app? Well, today we're going to cover the basics of designing your app, components, pages, and properties. Well, hey there friend, Darren here from Thunkable X Tutorials, where I am teaching you clear and concise Thunkable app development tutorials. And by the end of this video, you will know how to use the design screen. So here I am on the design screen in Thunkable. And what we're going to look at first is components. And components can be found in the left third of the screen. The components section is broken into two large parts. The top part is what I like to call the Thunkable component tree. This is where you will find all of the components that are currently a part of your app. The bottom part are the components that you can add to your app. So these are components that are available for you to add. Let's take a look at these first. Now the components are broken into groups. So the first is the group of user interface components. So these are the components that users will be interacting with like buttons and labels. And as you go down, they get more complex. The layout components allow you to change where certain parts of your app are found. You have voice components so that you can interact with your app with your voice. The image components are just that. They allow you to add images and take images within your app. The data components allow you to store data in a variety of places. And then at the bottom, we have a few more groups, location, sensors, social, authentication, and monetization. And Thunkable is constantly adding new components and new features, so be sure to check back here frequently if you are looking for something that is not there. Let's take a look at two of the components that most apps will probably have, the button and the label. There are two ways to add a component to your app. One is to drag and drop the component onto your app screen. The other way is to add the component to the component tree. Now you can see why I call this a tree because it branches as you go down, as you drill down into the different components. So at the top layer, I have screen one and below that I have a label and a button. Now I can't fit the details of every component into this video. So if you are looking to learn how any of these components work, I will link to the documentation of components in the description. So back to our tree. Here we have a screen, a label, and a button. But what if I want another screen in my app? Well, Thunkable allows you to add multiple screens to your app. And the simplest way for me to do this is to hit the plus button here, and that will add another screen to my app that doesn't have any components in it, and I can drag and drop the new components that I will need. Now Thunkable has created a great video on the variety of ways you can create and manage your screens. And I will link to that video in the description. So once you have all of your screens laid out with all of the components you need to get started, what you might want to do is start to make your app look unique through Thunkable Properties. So let's go back to screen one and start working with the properties section. And one of the first things I like to do is to change the name. So here I will call this start screen. And let's go ahead and do the same for our label and our button. Giving each component a unique name will help you down the road. But besides changing the name, we can also edit things like the text color of the button. Or for the label, if I click on that, I can edit the font size. If you can't find the property that you're looking for in this section, I would suggest looking through the advanced section as there are a ton of more 
properties there that you can edit. And if you can't find it there, I would advise you to go look at the Thunkable docs or come ask a question on the Thunkable community. Now, if you've made it this far in the video, first off, I want to thank you, but I also want to share a bonus tip with you. One of the things that I have found that people have a lot of trouble with is moving these components around on the screen. By default, they are put in the center, but let's say I want to move the button to the top left and the label to the top right. Let me show you how you can do this. The first thing I want to do is add a row component. Now a row component can be found inside of the layout section because what we're doing is changing the layout of our current components. So I'll drag and drop this into the screen. So now row is sitting on top of label and button, but I want those components inside of the row. So I will drag and drop those inside of row. So what the row component does is it forces the components to be in a row. It does just that. It puts the components next to each other. So originally they were on top of each other and now they are next to each other. Now there are two components that I will need to edit inside of row and I can find these on the simple properties tab and they are scroll down to justification and alignment. Now the first thing I will adjust is the alignment. Right now it is at default. There are a few different options here and what I want is flex start. This moves the alignment to the top of the row layout component. So if I was to use flex end, that would move it to the bottom. So you can play around with these until you find what you need. So now I have button and label at the top, but I want them to be in their respective corners. So for this, I will adjust the justification property. So I'll change this from center to space between. This moves them to the left and right corners respectively. So now you should have a better understanding of how to use the design screen in your app. The design screen allows you to add, manage, and edit the properties and components of your app. So if you're new here, this is the part of the video where I ask you a question. In the description, let me know what component you would like to learn more about. And that is all for today's video. Have fun designing your app.